you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm okay. Taking it day by day, you know? It's been hectic. You're in Toronto, right? Or right? You're outside yeah. of yeah. Toronto. It's what a crazy period. Yeah, you just don't think you're in your lifetime you're gonna go through something like this. It's you just don't think it's gonna happen and then bam, you're just hit with it and then you have to figure out all these new plans and it's it's insane. <laughs> I keep thinking like I was like, it's gonna get better. <laughs> it's just it's like the it's to me it's like the uncertainty of not knowing. Yeah, that like part sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's like when someone made a good like comparison, it's like when your parents tell you to go to your bedroom and like you like go to your room for an hour and then like that hour comes up and like but then you're like you can't come out and like you don't know how long you have to stay in your bedroom for. It's like Right. And then like you're like, Mom and like your mom's not there and you like they just laugh. Dad? Am like, I you're just, like, just hanging in, but you can't get out of the room and you're just waiting, like, come on, guys, I'm gonna come out of my room. So uh, Yeah. I don't know. I think we're going to, they're talking about shutting down Vegas again, but they like, it's more the news. Cause I think we just went into the red zone again, supposedly, but I don't know. Like, it's like masks are being enforced everywhere now. Like it's. Yeah. Same here. So, I mean, I don't like people aren't like, I don't see anyone doing anything like wrong. The gyms, like people distance, like they have every other machine. You can't use like machines right next to each other. They're color coded blue or yellow. So okay. like it, yeah, like they like they're taking and like you got to wear your mask walking around. You're allowed to like put it down while you're like actual in the set and stuff. But that's why they have like the social distancing and stuff in place there. And like they have people walking around telling people like if you're not wearing your mask, you have to leave. And like where at first it was a little bit laid back, like they were not. And then I think they started finding all the, the places here that aren't doing it like thousands of dollars each time. So. Jeez. I mean, yeah. hey, I'm I'm down with that because I really feel like you should be listening to what they're telling us because um, yeah, yeah. the quicker we start implementing everything, hopefully the sooner we'll be on our way to some kind of normal. <laughs> I agree. That's what I was saying. I was telling, I was talking to, to Raj. I do the wrestling report every week. And it was like, I think people are so frustrated because there's been, like I feel people feel like they've been lied to in the past on other things too. And like nobody knows what to believe. And there's so much information out there. But at the end of the day, like whether you agree with it or not, like we wear the mask so that we don't shut down. Like, like to me, shutting down is really scary because you take away the one thing everybody needs is money to live and to have your health. And like that, I feel like has more detrimental repercussions long term on it. But like everyone needs to do what they say, which is not that's the problem. And they're not. And so it just creates like this. It's like because like. Shutting down doesn't help anybody when you don't know. Like, I just don't know. I'm just like, just wear the mask. Just please wear the mask. And my big thing, too, is like, just because we're asking you to wear a mask, I don't understand the big stance on why you wouldn't. Like, worst case scenario, and there there is proof that the masks help, but even if you believe that they don't, worst case scenario, you're just taking one step forward to take a precaution that may or may not work, and you look a little silly. Like, who yeah. gives a damn? It's all you gotta do to protect not just yourself, but others, and it's just amazing to me how selfish so many people are being, and I'm just gonna be blunt about it, because, like, it's a life or death situation, you know? It's just so careless, and it drives me crazy when people just zoom right by you or they don't care yeah. i've just started you know you know there are um, lines on the floor and arrows for the grocery stores and stuff yeah, yeah like i totally understand if it's an innocent mistake but so many people are just like not distancing going the wrong way and it's to a point yeah. now where i've just become bitter and angry and i'll just be like <laughs> dude wrong way or i'll be like can you not read like i'm just i'm so annoyed yeah. at this point it's been months it's been months it's not new I think, though, too, though, part of it, though, even like the mask and I've seen different things and there's studies where they I I can understand why people are confused, though. There's too much information out there. There's not like a clear cut thing. But I'm with you. I like just wear the mask like that's that way. Worst thing, right? It's not like even if you don't have to wear it at home, we're not. And I feel bad for people that if they don't want to be truly wearing them and they have to wear them like morning to night and like that's but it's. At the end of the day, that's what we have to do to, if that's what they're saying in order to stay open, I'm like, we need to do whatever we can do to stay open, to keep things yeah. moving. Because shutting down is very, really, really dangerous. But it's everyone, and like people are, it, what happened, people are getting angry at each other. It, like it's, it's causing, there's so many, I was talking about it, just so many, 
it's bringing out the worst of every situation. Like when I get into, like I just tune out of social media and I delete it off my phone and I'm so happy and like life and I just stay busy. And I, it is, but when you go on there, you just see like, everyone's just angry and everyone has their opinion yeah. on things. And, but like, everyone's too, right. <laughs> yeah. But like, if you, you read a study and you say mask, actually that you got one thing from the new, I saw one from the new England journal of medicine, whatever talking about how these detrimental effects on it. And I'm like, well, people are going to look at this and like, they're going to form a hard no in their head and they're not going to like, because they saw that one piece of information. And right. I like, I just, it's crazy. Like I'm just, there's so much just lack of leadership. I feel like, and all of this just in, in just in general, like, but that goes back to that time thing too. That's like, it's not, it was like, I think people are mad. They were told two weeks too initially. And then that's, I think it's been handled kind of, but how do you handle a situation like this? I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know. As far as Canada goes, they've definitely been strict on things. Border is still closed from here to the States. Uh, they just, um, we were supposed to have restaurants opening and we didn't go into that phase yet. Like they're being really cautious up here, which yeah. makes me super happy because like I said, I'd rather, as much as it sucks for businesses and luckily too, everywhere has been doing like Uber eats and every kind of, you know, yeah. dining service, a delivery service. So at least that's a, that's a good thing. But um, as much as I'd love for places to open, if that's the precautions we have to take, then I'm down for them because I just want people to be healthy. You know, I know people have been affected. Uh, my sister's a nurse. Like I hear yeah. stories firsthand. It's terrifying. So just do your due, di due diligence and um, try your best to, you know, be a decent human. <laughs> it's not like these rules are that hard to follow. <laughs> yeah, no. I do think and I, I always try. I look at it like objectively from both sides. But like I look at it, too, from people, the businesses. I can understand why they're frustrated because nobody's looking out for them right now. That's right. the other problem that are losing. So people are losing everything that aren't like affected by it. And there's, it's, you got to, I look at it on all accounts and I look, I go, well, we've never done this for anything else either before. And I do think I go, but it's also, we want to protect the people that are sick. And like, that's where I think the mask, but I even think like, why aren't we not doing N95 mask for everybody? Cause those have shown to be the most efficient, like, where cloth mask, that's where there's debates on how how effective cloth masks even are. I just right. think I go, there's just so much. I try to just look at it from all accounts. And like, I know people here, like in Vegas that are out of work and they haven't gotten one check. They never got a check. They haven't been paid. They have no, they have nothing. They're like, their parents are helping out or a friend's helping them out. And it's like, they're going to go and like businesses are shutting down forever. They're never going to open again. Like yeah. it's a real, and I've done, I speak from doing very well during this period. And that I'm just looking at it and seeing and looking, I go, I can understand why these people are angry on things because like their rent's not being frozen. The bills aren't being frozen. So people are going into a, into something that and they're, they're never going to be helped. No one's helping them on it. So what's happened, I feel like just the entire thing is creating tension and conflict with human beings on many different levels. And then you throw in the whole political aspect. And I just think it's, tempers are just at an all-time high whereas too like you can't even have a conversation about it with most people because it's like no if it's not this way i fuck you i can never like it's i'm yeah. like no i listen okay and I, I do think this so for that and i go what's the best solution for everybody in, in that and i think it's just where i think n95 mask would be a huge step in the right direction but <sighs> It's, it I is know. what it is. None it's of us know. So, yeah, yeah. No, that's the issue. None of us know. We don't know. We don't know anything. I was just having this conversation with someone where it's like, even in my stance, um, from a business aspect, I can't go over to the states where a lot of places are now starting to reopen for wrestling shows. And I've been emailed all the time, just like, hey, would you be able to host this? And because the border shut down, I can't. And deep down, it's like you want someone to be angry at or something to kind yeah. of justify your feelings. But I, I can't. There's no one to really be mad at. This is something you know, we don't know the individual that started this whole thing, or we still don't even no. know the exact reason why it all, like there's so many theories and it's just, it's all confusing and frustrating and sad. Yeah. And um, that, that's why I'm just trying to, like everyone else, take it day by day here in Canada, uh, such in Ontario, we have something where if you earned, a, I think it was a certain amount and you hadn't been working for a certain amount of time because of the pandemic um, and like, you know, you can prove your financial stance, like they give you a certain amount of money you can apply for oh, and really? that comes 
that comes monthly. Like they've been really um, amazing at helping people and businesses out. So I've been hearing so many stories from the state, so many stories from up here. And it's interesting to see the difference in how people are being helped out and treated. And yeah, it's just, it's so much to digest. It really is. I know. Thank you guys very much for watching this clip and to watch full episodes of the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report and conversation with the big guy Ryback. Subscribe to patreon.com backslash Ryback for exclusive videos of both shows. And always remember, feed me more.